Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a CD? No, no, not really. <laughs> not, not really a CD, folks. Um, although the CD was in the package. Um, this is a uh, unboxing review of a watch that is not mine. Uh, it was loaned in uh, very generously by a fellow watch enthusiast. Uh, his name is John. Uh, I'm not going to give his last name out uh, uh, for obvious reasons, you know, privacy and all that. Um, he's also loaned another watch in uh, to the channel before. Um, Really great watch, but uh, this is the one he uh, promised that uh, I would get a hold of uh, originally, and the other watch was sort of a, uh, a stopgap, if you will. And John is a very big um, Frank Sinatra fan, and this watch has a Frank Sinatra tie-in. Uh, he also gave me, uh, as a gift, a Frank Sinatra CD. Um the uh, ultimate, um, what do you call it? The ultimate Sinatra with all those tracks on it. What is it? 25 of them. Uh, I think I'm only familiar with three or four of them. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, uh, I, I don't listen to a lot of Sinatra. Um, one of one of my uh, one of the ones I am familiar with is uh, I believe it's called uh, the yeah it is this one here number fifteen the way you look tonight um, fly me to the moon obviously I'm familiar with that uh, strangers in the night who isn't familiar with that uh, that's life my way New York New York I mean you know Sinatra is one of the most well known singers, uh, uh, musicians of, of all time. So who isn't familiar with those? But I love the, the song, The Way You Look Tonight. Um, the problem is I don't have a CD player anymore. Uh, neither of my cars have CD players. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, it's 2021. Cars don't really have CD players anymore. Um, so what I will probably do is I will probably put this into my iMac and do a rip and get that digitally um, done and then I can put it in my iPhone right here and then I'll have them. But uh, John, I really appreciate the gift. Uh, I really do. Now, we're not here to look at CDs. We're here to look at watches. And this is a Raymond, uh, you know, I've always wondered about this. Is it Weil? Wheel? I'm gonna go with Weil, Raymond Weil. If I'm wrong, tell me so in the comments. I'm sure you will, even if I didn't ask. But Raymond Weil is a watch brand I am familiar with. I have actually purchased a Raymond Weil watch way, way back in the early 90s. I actually bought one for my then girlfriend, uh, now who is now my ex-wife. Uh, I bought it from uh, Ross Simon Jewelers inside of Phipps Plaza in Buckhead which is a suburb of uh, Metro Atlanta. Uh, anyone from the area, you are familiar with the Phipps Mall. You are familiar with Ross Simons. And uh, I bought her a very beautiful gold watch with a diamond bezel way back when I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, and I don't know what happened to that watch. Uh, supposedly she hawked it, but I, I don't know. Anyway. Raymond Weil is a fantastic Swiss watchmaker. They make very fine pieces and they made a Frank Sinatra tribute watch inside the outer box, which is um, very thick cardboard. We have the Raymond Weil Sinatra celebrating 100 years of Sinatra tribute and inside the box. We have a very nice dress watch in a very nice inner box, which we will just put to the side because we don't need it anymore. Um, 
Now, on the face of the watch, it looks like a standard Maestro uh, lineup um, Raymond Weil watch. Uh, Swiss made, Geneva, or Geneva, depending on everybody, simple three hand uh, dress watch. Sort of an ivory, to me it's ivory colored face with a nice guilloche pattern in the middle. But look at those indices. Now, what was Frank Sinatra's nickname? Old Blue Eyes. See the tie in? Look at those indices on the border around the date window. Um, don't they remind you of old blue eyes' blue eyes? Very nice. I've never seen indices quite that color before. Now, admittedly, I don't get out much, but, <laughs> um, but very beautifully done. Signed crown with the uh, RW logo and on the back. You have Sinatra's famous uh, fedora hat and his name on the exhibition case back. And of course you have the uh, various bits of information around, and, and this is the most important one right here. I hope you can see that, try and angle it right. This is serial number 1111 out of 1212. So John got, I don't know whether it was intentional or not, but he, he got himself a rather interesting coup where he got serial number 1111. Very easy to remember. Um, I've been wearing this for a couple of days now, and it is a beautifully crafted and wears beautifully watch. I'll give you a wrist shot real quick. And then we'll go over some literature, which I was able to dig up on the Raymond Wheel while whatever website and the keepers are a little stiff that first keeper really wants to fight you because it doesn't move and it wants to wrap up on itself so there we go you you lose I win there you go I didn't put it on tight enough but whatever there's your wrist shot on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. The overhead, the cuff shot, the down the barrel. It wears beautifully on my wrist. It's just the right size. I have worn this with a long sleeve shirt. It is still a little cold down here in Florida in April, early April of 2021. So I have had the opportunity to wear this with a long sleeve shirt. And it slides under under a uh, long sleeve beautifully. It's very unobtrusive. Um, the, the the leather strap is buttery soft. I mean, right out of the box, it was buttery buttery soft. You can see it's signed, Swiss made, and with the R W logo. Hope you can see that. Yes. And a, uh, I believe a you know, signed clasp. All stainless steel. There's no precious metal in here, but then again, it doesn't have to be. Uh, and like I said, this is ba basically it, it. It's part of the Maestro uh, series uh, that uh, Raymond uh, Weil uh, offers, and I will leave a link to their website so you can see the different. Uh, watch series that uh, that they offer currently and these are very reasonably priced Swiss made watches um, <clears throat> depending on what your definition of reasonably priced is um, so I'm going to read a little bit of literature so you can get the background of this particular watch um, Swiss watchmaker Raymond Wheel is proud to join the Sinatra family to commemorate the 100 year anniversary of the birth of Frank Sinatra as part of the Sinatra 100 centennial celebration, Raymond Weil has introduced a special limited edition timepiece reinterpreted from the classic Maestro collection. The Maestro Frank Sinatra limited edition plays homage to legendary, legendary artist and his iconic persona. 
with restraint, elegance, and precision, the timepiece evokes a sense of admiration for the entertainer's illustrious career. Uh, let's see, anything else useful here? The timepiece features a mechanical movement with automatic winding housed in a 39 and a half millimeter stainless steel case, reminiscent of the famed old blue eyes, the hands, indice markers, and contour of the date window are bright blue hue against the backdrop of a silver dial. So I guess they're calling that silver. Uh, I, those hands don't look blue to me, so I guess, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, transparent case bag boasts a special Sinatra Centennial insignia with while the 12 marker highlighted as the only Roman numeral signifies Sinatra's December 12th birthday. Also in reference to his birthday, only 1,212 pieces or 1212 of the Maestro Frank Sinatra limited edition will be available starting June 2015. And then it goes on to list the accomplishments of Sinatra, the 12.1 Grammys, three Oscars, two Golden Globes, uh, leader of the Rat Pack, uh, blah, 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 blah. Suffice it to say, Sinatra is an icon in the world of entertainment. Uh, I think even people of my generation and even later generations uh, know this. Uh, but, um, so this one is number 1111 of 1212, 12 being, you know, December 12th, um, what was it? Uh, I guess that would be 1915 when he was born. 1915 to 2015 is 100 years. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. Math, you know, not good at it. <laughs> um, but uh, a beautiful watch. The uh, exhibition case back shows off the movement very nicely. You know, it's not the most decorated movement uh, in the world. But still, it's always nice to be able to look down into the watch and see what you paid for, right? But I do have my uh, statistics here, my sheet of facts, um, which were also in the media kit, which I printed off, which also had all that verbiage that I just read. Uh, the movement is a uh, mechanical self-wind. That's all they identify it as. I don't think they have... Oh, it says caliber RW4200. So this is an in-house caliber. Uh, hopefully Raymond Weil will still service this thing when it needs it. 38 hour power reserve, 26 joule movement. Uh, obviously it's just a simple three-hander with a date window. Uh, 39 millimeter, 39 and a half millimeter diameter. Nine millimeter thick. I believe this is a 22 millimeter lug, uh, polished stainless steel, uh, sapphire, uh, crystal front and back, and let's see, brown leather, uh, polished steel, uh, buckle, uh, water resistance is uh, five atmosphere or 50 meters. It is a non screw down crown. Uh, so not something I'd want to go swimming in. Of course, why would you swim in this thing? But if you got caught in a rainstorm like Gene Kelly, <laughs> uh, Google it if you don't understand the reference. Um, uh, or, you know, if it got wet somehow washing your hands or whatever, um, that's fine. But uh, I wouldn't put this thing underwater. The movement does hack. And it is a hand wind. As you can hear, I'll put it up against the microphone. So hopefully you heard that. It is a hand wind hackable movement. Uh, two position, obviously first position sets the date. Second position sets the watch and hacks the movement. Um, I don't think those hands look blue to me. They look black to me, but uh, if I, you know, my eyes are old, so who knows. Um, but I don't see blue hands, so I don't know why the um, paperwork says blue hands, they look black, but the indices are definitely blue. 
and uh, obviously the Roman numeral at the tw at the twelve o'clock signifying you know being a Roman numeral twelve, uh, signifying the specialness of this watch. So I mean, just a beautiful watch. I think this is well bought by John. Um, you know, even if he wasn't a, a, a Frank Sinatra fan, this is still a well-bought watch. Um, it's a beautiful shape. I don't know exactly how long he's had it. I've had it for about three or four days now. Um, I love the way the, I mean, the, the, the lugs look very elegant. They look like they've been, you know, the kind of, they look like the kind of lugs that have been welded onto the case and then you know, polished out so that they all look of one piece, but you can tell that they were added on in the um, in the traditional style, the traditional pocket watch conversion style of uh, old dress watches of the era. It's just a beautiful watch. Um, like I said, well bought by John. Um, I really appreciate him loaning it into me so I could get to experience it. I'm not a big dress watch guy. I have a couple myself, uh, but I don't wear them very often. Um, I'm not, a, I'm, I don't go out very much. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this would make this still a great watch to wear in a business setting, um, dress setting, even a formal setting, and definitely a, uh, a good conversation starter if you know what you're looking at. So I do give a, a shout out to John. Uh, thank, you, thank you for uh, loaning it into me, sir. And if you'd like to borrow any of mine, um, I don't usually loan my watches out, uh, but uh, for you, sir, I would, uh, I would consider it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap the video up there because there's not much more to say about this. I mean, the watch is a timeless, <laughs> no pun intended, a timeless classic, uh, paying tribute to a timeless artist. So if you like this video, and I certainly hope you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, thumbs up does help the channel uh, with respect to the YouTube algorithms. The more thumbs up a channel gets, the more likely it is to appear in a YouTube search result. And the more thumbs up a, a search result video gets, the higher up on that search result it will appear. So clicking that like button does help bring users to the channel, which is always a good thing. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to post links that take my viewers to bad places on the internet, or if you're going to be a nasty little troll and, and post insults and other such garbage in my comments section, uh, no matter what, I will just delete the comment and then I block the commenter. It's a very simple process to do. It takes exactly five seconds to do that. 10 if I'm thinking about it too much. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, first of all, welcome. Glad you found me. Uh, feel free to look in as many videos as you want. I have well over 400 videos covering a variety of topics, be they watches, cars, college football, uh, commentary, rants, even humor. Uh, all I ask is that before you leave, uh, you click the subscribe button down there in the lower right-hand corner of your uh, viewing screen. And when you do, click the bell icon next to it so that when I upload new content or when I do one of my live streams, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern Time or whenever time and opportunity permit, you will be alerted to uh, those things and you can come over and take a look. Otherwise, uh, be safe out there. Uh, stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. I'll see you in my next video.